Hi, this is Jodie from Free to Move in Perth, Western Australia. And today I'm showing you a Feldenkrais lesson on improving your reaching and turning while freeing your neck, shoulders, chest and lower back. So to begin with, lie down on the floor on a comfortable mat or even on your bed for this lesson and put something firm to support underneath the side of your head. A folded blanket or a couple of folded towels is usually preferable to a pillow which is too soft for this movement. Bring your knees together and feet together and bend your knees and hips to about 90 degrees. Also bring the palms of your head, hands together with your elbows almost straight. Settle into your resting position. And now take your top hand and bring it slowly up towards the ceiling and back behind you. Repeat that movement a couple of times, noticing what it feels like in your head and neck, your chest, your pelvis. And then bring the hands back together at the front again and begin to slide your top hand forwards and backwards over the underneath hand as smoothly and lightly as you can. Notice what parts of your body move. Keep your top elbow almost straight without tensing it. Do that movement a few more times and then rest. And now place your top hand on your forehead with your elbow pointing towards the ceiling and your fingers and thumb pointing down towards the floor. Spread your fingers a little bit and softly contour your forehead with your hand. Now very gently begin to roll your head with your hand, taking your elbow back behind you. Notice what happens through your chest. Notice the way the rib cage changes shape. Observe your eyes and notice what's happening in your eyes. You can close your eyes if you like. Notice your breathing and allow it to continue lively and easily in the background, uninterrupted by the movement. And begin to expand the movement of your arm so that it not only goes back behind you, but it also goes down towards the floor in front of you. It doesn't have to touch. It's staying in a range that feels really light and easy for you. But you begin to roll a little bit so that as your elbow goes forward, your eyes begin to look down towards the earth and your forehead rolls onto the palm of your hand. Gradually expand the movement, staying in the range that's really comfortable for you. And let that go. Rest. And now bring your awareness to your pelvis. Slowly begin to move your pelvis a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards. As smoothly and lightly as you can. Staying in your really easy range. Stay aware of your breath. Notice how the knee begins to slide. Top knee slides a little bit over the underneath knee, forwards and backwards. And now go back to the movement of sliding the hands. Slide your top hand a little bit forwards and backwards over the underneath hand, keeping the top elbow almost straight and notice whether your knees start to move as well. And if they don't, think about it consciously. Begin to move your pelvis backwards each time your shoulder goes backwards and your pelvis forwards each time your shoulder goes forward. So your hand and your knee will also move in the same direction as the shoulder and hip. See if you can synchronise the movement 
so that the movement of the shoulder and the movement of the hip begin at the same moment and end at the same moment. Don't rush it. Pause for a moment before you go back the other way. And allow yourself the space to breathe easily and smoothly. And then leave that. Rest for a moment. And now go back to the movements of the hip and the shoulder, but this time move them in opposite directions. So as the shoulder goes forwards and the hand slides forward onto the floor a little bit, the hip goes back. And as the shoulder goes back, the hip goes forward. Now I'm probably demonstrating a reasonably big movement, but this is really a tiny movement for most people. So just keep the movement really small. If it's difficult, slow it down. Or do the shoulder first and then the hip. Do them one at a time if you're finding it a challenge. Breathe easily. Pause momentarily before you go back the other way. Notice what happens in your head and neck. Can your belly be completely free while you do this movement? Come back to your starting position and pause. Take another little rest. Let yourself breathe. And now take your top hand and put it on the front of your lower ribs on the opposite side. Very gently begin to roll towards your back and as you do so, remind yourself to bring the underneath ribs on the other side along with you. See how the participation of the chest and ribs here allows you to go further without increasing your effort? Let the breath come smoothly. Let your head roll. Let your top knee slide over the underneath knee. And the underneath knee may even lift a little bit. as your elbow goes back behind you. And next time you're rolled towards your back, stay there for a moment, and one more time, bring your hand to your forehead. So you're facing somewhere, somewhere roughly towards the ceiling, and your elbow's pointing back behind you, and in this position, slowly roll your head from side to side with your hand. Close your eyes. And feel as you begin the movement, the way that you can let go of the muscles of your neck and use your arm to do the work of rolling your head. Let your jaw and lips be soft. Feel the way the skin moves a little bit across the bone of the forehead as you begin the rolling motion. And now let the elbow also come down towards the floor in front. As your top knee comes forward on the bottom knee, you actually begin to roll face down. And go all the way back, staying in your easy, comfortable range. Letting your head roll. And then just let that go. Bring the palms of your hands together one more time. Go back to the sliding movement of your hands. Sliding and reaching. Reaching and rolling. And this time, slide your top hand as far up the underneath arm as you can go comfortably and then begin to bend the elbow. And slide the top hand up to the underneath shoulder and back. Let your head roll, let your chest turn, let your pelvis move. And then slide it up to the underneath shoulder, across the front of your chest and towards the other shoulder, taking your elbow back behind you. 
and back, staying in the really easy range, not efforting, breathing lightly. And next time, your elbow is back behind you and your head is rolled, just gently straighten your elbow and turn to look towards the hand and then reverse it to come back again. So this is a movement that's sometimes called the lazy archer. It's like you're lazily drawing back the bow, except that instead of looking in the direction of the arrow, you let your head turn to look towards the back hand. And now roll over and rest on your back. If you want to, you can get rid of your head support. Take a moment to feel your contact with the floor. Notice any changes in your body that this lesson has created. Feel any differences between the left and right side of your body that are the result of the lesson. And if you wish, you can repeat the exercise on the other side of the body to get yourself feeling more even between the two sides. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.